What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So we're going to do a video about a quick EDC update and I'm also going to be doing a cool review. So let's get into it. Alright guys, now there's a lot of different methods in carrying when it comes to carrying a firearm and stuff like that. And uh, everyone updates it just a little bit every now and then every year I get a new piece of equipment or something like that that I throw into the mix. And I really enjoy it and it starts becoming my new EDC, my everyday thing. So, but what I want to talk to you guys about today is this right here. This is a Pacifica leather magazine pouch. So. This is a cool pouch, all right? This is a cool pouch. You know, I like leather. I really do. I like leather. I like Kydex. I like leather. Um, but this has officially become my new EDC when I'm carrying my SIG, which is pretty much 20, 98% of the time. I say 20, 98% of the time I pretty much carry my SIG. On a day like this, because I'm doing this review and I took this off and carrying my 1911. But anyway, so I want to talk about this because uh, I, I always carry inside the waistband when it comes to my firearm. Uh, firearm, regardless of the time of year, like even right now, Extra layers are on, the trees are changing, you know, changing colors, it's getting colder. Um, I still carry it inside the waistband because that's how you conceal a firearm. It's the best way to do it. You can do it outside the waistband with a jacket. Yeah, you, you absolutely can. It still just makes it a little bit more difficult when you move around and your jacket comes up over unless you have like a long jacket. But for me, I always do inside the waistband just because it always conceals the firearm. Now, when it comes to mag pouches though, I, I usually carry outside the waistband with the mag pouches. And I usually have a one that's thin and it's narrow and it pulls a gun to your body or pulls the magazines to your body now when it comes to magazine pouches i have two methods of carrying it i'm um, the one that I, that I do a lot of is my pocket carry i have a little pocket carrier that I put a magazine in there but the one that i've always done too and i do this now even when i have my 1911 on right now i have my i have two mags on my side is i do outside the waistband carry with mags all right now i do it with mags because not only you know not every mag carrier is the same if you get like the big bulky blackhawk ones and stuff like that regardless of the size and the how thin the, thin the firearm and the magazines are it's going to bulge it's going to stick out so i usually do a pancake kind of like a pancake in a compound it's narrow and it pulls it tight to your body so it wraps it close to your body and when I'm wearing a shirt, and one other thing I like to look at too is uh, if this is your belt line coming here like this, okay, this needs to be almost the height of your belt, all right? If the, the belt is coming up here, I don't know the best way to explain it, if the belt is coming across up here, then you have all this standing underneath of it, and that'll be sticking out under your shirt. So the belt line, pretty much for me, has to come close to the actual bottom of the actual mag pouch in order for me to carry it. Now, what really drew, drove me to this, what really drove me to the, or drew me to it, however you want to say it, is I was just looking for a new option. I was just like, hey, what, what do they got up there? Let's see what they got. You know, I have stuff that I've been using. Um, but then I saw this and I really drew it. Now, I like the angle of this. Look, this is the angle. So this is designed to be carried on your left side. All right, it's designed to be carried on your left side. Um, in the picture, they actually depicted it kind of left behind like this. All right, left behind, not whatever. <laughs> left behind. And the way how the shape and the cant of it actually, for, it actually goes with the natural lines of your body. And because you have that cant on it, now the, the mag is like this. If it was standing straight up like this, okay, if it was standing straight up like this, this would now be below your belt line. But because of this cant, when it comes on like this, it pulls it up against your body like that. It allows this pouch to come higher, all right, and allows it to conceal easier. Now, this is really nice because it's, it's it, when I got it, it was tight. I mean, this is for my 229, so this is my 229. I could probably fit my, I don't know if I could, yeah, I'd probably fit my Glock mags in here. My, yeah, I would probably loosen it up a little bit. But this is a 229, and they even put it on the back of it, all right, 229. Nice little flag in there, too. Uh, mine's actually M11A1 and 228. But basically, this is very, very tight. So when I first put it in there, I almost couldn't get this thing in there. And I've been, if you can't tell, I've been wearing this for days now. I've been wearing this for days now. But I almost couldn't get it in there, so I just shove it in as hard as I could and just shove it in and pull it out and just kind of do that for a little bit until I got it where I want it to be. And then I had it sit overnight in this. And then since then, the only time I've taken it out of the mag, the, the actual mag pouch is right now when you saw me doing that. Now, so it's basically been sitting here shaping the leather to my body. And now when I've been carrying it, it actually shapes the natural curves of my body. All right. So it shapes the natural curve of my body, which gives this even the double stack. You know, these, uh, the, the M11A1 mags are thinner than your average SIG mags. But even a double stack mag like this, because of how tight it pulls your body and how 
this pouch actually curves to your body makes it pretty much invisible on your body pretty much invisible on your body now you have to put this on the right angle obviously on your body so if you put it too far in the back then this is going to be sticking out like this all right if you put it too far to the front it's going to be sticking out like this you got to find that balance in between and where it's comfortable and i found that on me and if <laughs> this is exactly where it's been sitting for the last uh, just days ever since i've gotten this that's why i've been that's why i've been carrying this thing and i'm really digging this so for me this is my new edc update so this is a pacifica leather all right mag pouch i mean this is just a nice i mean look at just i don't know if you can see the stitches are nice, all right? Everything about this is just a very, very nice pouch. And it's nice and thick, nice and thick leather. So it's heavy duty leather. I mean, it's heavy duty. I mean, this stuff, now it's shaping to my body. You can move it a little bit, but I mean, it's just staying there. It is just staying there. So anyway, but check the link down in the description below if you're into that. So go take a look at it if you like this. So go check out that link and I'll put that in there. I'll take, it's a eBay where I found them on eBay. And I'll show you actually this exact, I have magazine pouches. So it'll show you exactly where it is. So go check that out. I'll put that link down there if you like it. And also guys, if you like the content of this video, of this video feel free to support it. So go ahead, check me out on Patreon. If you like this stuff, go ahead, put, you know, go ahead and help me out over at Patreon. That's where this came from. Uh, my patrons, all right, my patrons, this is the stuff that I get. And right now, uh, I'm actually taking that Patreon, Patreon money. I'm probably gonna be saving for a gun light so I can give you guys a review, all right? So anyway, if you like that, like I said, if you want help support the channel, go check me out on Patreon. If you want this specific carrier go check out the description as well as it'll be down there anyway guys if you like this video like share subscribe tell your friends about me and remember it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other peace